what's new? Drinking another energy drink because I, I just need help. I literally tweeted today. Well, not tweet. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> because I'm not on, well, I'm on Twitter, but like I don't use it. And it's not Twitter anymore. It's like, what is it called? X now? I threaded today. <laughs> I said. I am unwell, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all of the above. <laughs> uh, clearly not doing well, but, uh, and people like started liking it, and like someone said like, I'm here for you, I'm like, wow. Like, am I crying? Like, what's happening? I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, that was a horrible, horrible intro, but hi guys, welcome, welcome back to the pod. We missed one week because I was out of town, uh, so I wanted to give you guys like a time to listen back on other episodes that we posted recently. So today we are going to be talking about an episode of a topic that I particularly not sure if that's like people are gonna make any sense of it, but I think it's definitely something to mention or think about. Uh, that it is okay sometimes not to follow the crowd. I think the way we are not necessarily like designed or like we are accustomed that like just because someone else is doing something, we are almost inclined to follow them and do what they do, just like many other people, almost like following the crowd. And we're going to talk about today why you don't necessarily always have to follow the crowd. Just because the crowd is doing one thing or a lot of people are doing one thing doesn't mean that like that's the journey for you or you should be doing that in the first place. Just some of my thoughts that I want to talk about. I don't know why I came up with this. I feel like I have been feeling a certain type of way about some topics lately or some of my decisions and choices lately, which I don't want to mention it right now. <laughs> I know I'm saying it and I'm not even going to talk about it, but I want to say like from those experiences, that's how I come up with this topic because I made some of the decisions in my life just because a lot of the crowd did the same. A lot of people made that same choice and I thought that would be beneficial for me as well. I feel like in some ways, it did and it still is but I feel like in other ways I just don't think it made me happy or I'm in a happier place so I feel like that's why I want to come up at that I think just because they're following it doesn't necessarily mean that I was supposed to do that so that's why <laughs> I got inspired from this and we're gonna talk about it but before that let me tell you guys a little bit about LA like if you are planning on going to LA or never been to LA or you just want to hear about what it is like to visit LA I'm gonna give you guys like a summary of my visit this is obviously my like probably I don't know fifth time or sixth time being in LA so I've been there quite a few times uh, so I just want to give you guys some of my I don't know <laughs> recommendations that you can check it out uh, but I'm definitely gonna have like a vlog of me trying things and going to places and it will be my vlog channel so you can check them out later it's not up yet uh, it's still in the process <laughs> so but because this is my I think second time going back to LA since the pandemic because I have to be honest almost every city not just LA has been so like it, it definitely went through like a big phase after the pandemic uh, I would say the same thing even about New York City as well like things are just not the same so I would say if you have visited any place any city before the pandemic and you think it's the same I ask you to think twice it's just different maybe not in a bad way or maybe some places in a bad way but overall things are different really is different so let me say it from like about LA because New York is definitely another thing and I can definitely talk about that later but like LA wise like I think um because last time I was in LA that was in 2021 and that was like one day so I don't even count that anymore but like the time that I was actually in LA and was there for like couple, for a week or so, I was like living in I think Venice, 
And I feel like Venice all the time. I kind of hated Venice, I have to be honest. Like, it's a cool, like, boardwalk is nice. You can walk along the beach and, like, I don't know, there are a few things to check it out. And, like, nice restaurants there, 100%. Nice restaurants, shops, like, Abbott Kinney Boulevard. I used to think that, oh my god, like, it's, it's, it's just overrated. But, I will, I retract that statement. There are a couple places there, like, in terms of food and some restaurants and some bars and some, like, I don't know, shops. Like, it's a cool place. Again, mostly touristy. Very, in some ways, very touristy. But there are some cool places that you can check it out if you're planning to visit there. Like, if you want a healthy lunch or healthy breakfast, even, like, early dinner, go to Greenleaf. It is in Venice. Like, in the Abbott Kinney Boulevard, very close. Uh, really, really good food. Oh my god, so good, guys. If you're into healthy food, it's like... If you are from Miami or you're from Florida, it's like Pura Vida. Slightly cheaper, slightly, or almost the same price, but... Comparing to Pura Vida, this place is like... I have to be honest, like, healthy places in Miami is like... It's bad, I have to be honest. When people say, like, it's good, I'm like, you haven't had good healthy food like it's I have to be honest healthy food in uh, Miami or most of the Florida South Florida I've been it's trash like it's really bad but like one thing LA knows how to make or all the restaurants is like healthy food they're just so good I feel like it feels fresh I just love it so definitely recommend going to Greenleaf they have also pop up there so I went to the base pop up if you are not familiar it's like Shay Mitchell's brand then I also went to what was another place. Oh, like there's Alfred there as well. Again, if you're not familiar, Alfred Coffee is like another popular place in LA. A lot of celebrities go, like very fun, uh, cute coffee shop. And they have like really cool drinks, like lavender latte or something, would recommend. Then there's also Erwan in Venice as well. So I don't have to say too much about Erwan. <laughs> Because I could like not stop talking about it. <laughs> Just Google Haley Bieber smoothie. You're gonna see. You're gonna see. If you don't know what everyone is, maybe you're not in the target market. That's all I would say. <laughs> I swear I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying if you don't at this point, if you haven't heard anything about Erwan or Haley Bieber smoothie, you're not the person for it. That's all I would say. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, definitely Venice like. Uh, it surprised me because when I visited before pandemic, I was kind of like, mm, I don't like it. What surprised me, well, actually disappointed me, was Santa Monica. Before the pandemic, I actually loved Santa Monica. It's like nice area. Like I don't know, like I loved the equinox there and everything. This time around, like I have to be honest, it kind of felt run down. Like. And what surprised me is because, like, Santa Monica is, like, really expensive, guys. Like, especially, like, rent there. I mean, everything else is, like, expensive. That's, like, relative, you know. It's California. But, like, rent there is expensive. So I was, like, confused. Because, like, I remember a couple years ago when I visited, it was, like, nice and, like, clean. It was, like, dirty as hell. Run down the streets and everything. Like, even the Equinox I went there, I remember a couple years ago, I'm like, this is, like, really nice. I'm like, what was I thinking? I guess they didn't take care of it later or after the pandemic. It's like, it looks bad. What surprised me, <laughs> just like Venice, is Culver City. So, I would recommend Culver City is one of those places that's like up and coming uh, neighborhood in LA. Many new places there, new Erwan, new Equinox. Sony Pictures and Entertainment is right there. Bunch of studios, Culver Studios, they have downtown Culver. Really, really impressive. Like, there's so many places in LA. LA is just so massive, that's one thing I would admit. There's so many places to go. But those are some places I went to. Obviously, I went back to Getty. Getty Museum is so good. You have like a really nice view of the LA. Uh, you can also go to Griffin Observatory. You also have nice view. I don't know, you can go to West Hollywood. I went there just a couple of drinks with a friend. And if you want to go to a good rooftop bar, EP and LP. Really nice, it's in West Hollywood. 100% recommend if you're ever going there. But that's like a wrap up on that. But you're gonna see most of the rest of the things <laughs> in my vlog, but I want to give you guys a little bit, what is it, like summary, if you're ever planning on visiting LA, would recommend checking these places out. 
Today's podcast is brought to you by our partner, Mint Mobile. So once again, I want to talk about Mint Mobile because I just feel like these days, we are spending so much money on so many things, like starting from as little as like groceries to as big purchases like rent. Everything is just so expensive and I just feel like there is no need to spend extra for something that you can find cheaper for the same service or for the same thing. And that's what I love about Mint Mobile. They offer one of the greatest services in terms of the premium wireless phone service plan for literally the same service. They have like the same coverage, same data, same speed, but for less price. And they are built on nation's largest 5G network. The difference is because they sell directly to you, hence they can keep the cost low because there's no retail stores, no salespeople. And the best part I like about them is that like everything is so fast, the process of it, because if you have eSIM technology on your iPhone or on your phone, you can just go to their website and buy the number that you want and you can activate it right away. There it is, you have the phone number. I literally just did that for my business and I'm using that phone for my business. Super easy. You can just go to minmobile.com slash WB to use my code and you can just get started for as low as $15 a month. I think that's such a great deal in this economy. So don't forget to take this opportunity. Go to minmobile.com slash WB. Today's episode is brought to you by Liquid Ivy. Liquid Ivy is a category winning hydration brand fueling your well being. And their hydration multiplier is the one product you're missing in your daily routine. In just one stick, you get five essential vitamins and two times faster hydration than water alone. Use it first thing in the morning, before a workout, or when you just feel run down, after a long night out, especially after like a lot of alcohol intake, and also on just long flights. I love that it comes in individual packets so you can take it wherever with you and easily just mix it in your water. I keep one in my car, well actually a couple in my car, one in my backpack, one in my like travel bag, so I never run out. Liquid IV partners with leading organizations for innovative solutions to help communities to protect both their water and their futures. To this date, Liquid IV has donated over 39 million servings in 50 plus countries around the world. Get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code WB at checkout. That is 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code WB at liquidiv.com. I think one thing I'm going to mention is that because there's a saying a lot of people, I guess, refer to most of the time and not just like, I guess a lot of people sometimes even like I don't know, like some like smart, I guess, like or like very influential people refer to it. They're like, you don't want to be a sheep, right? Like because sheep is like following like what all the other sheep are doing. <sighs> like I believe that statement to to an extent because I feel like things are different in a way. But there are certain things that I was like looking it up as I was like wanted to talk about this topic. One thing that came across my head was that like social proof when it comes to like many things like you know when you see like only one comment in someone's Instagram right or you don't see any comment you tend to not write a comment because you're like I don't want to be the first one or when someone doesn't have a review on uh, their product you're like "Mm, maybe it's not good right like you don't want to you don't want to be that person the giving the shot or being like the I guess guinea pig because you're like I don't trust it because they don't have good reviews or they don't have any reviews at all and now the other thing is like they don't have good reviews this applies so much to like I don't know like restaurants or movies too they're like oh my god like they check their you check the reviews and like reviews say it's bad and based on that you're like I'm not gonna go and same thing with movies okay so I would say you get my point You, you see what I'm trying to say like again, it's like we are following what other people are saying. I get this to an extent, like 100%. I completely understand. But I think what I want to get with this is that like, just because someone is saying that this place is bad, unless like they say with a reasonable explanation that like that's why it's bad, 
I'm not going to make my decision based on that just because they're saying that or a bunch of people are saying that. I just need to know why, like the reason why, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Like, biggest example I would say is with movies. Like, because, you know, movies get like rating and like run tomato score, right? Stuff like that. I, I personally don't check that. I mean, yes, I will Google the movie and like see the score as you're Googling it because it usually tells you. It's not like I'm purposefully looking for it. But I wouldn't necessarily make my decision just based on that. I'm just not that kind of person. <laughs> like, I would be honest. Like, I think Twilight, when it came out, I think the reviews were bad. Like, I think especially the first one. I think it got better uh, as they, like, published the, I mean, like, the released the second one, third one, and, like, later. But I remember the first one was, like, pretty bad. But I loved it. I loved the movie. It was like, it was amazing. I loved it. Same thing was like, I think, Venom. Like from the Marvel Universe, like, or is it Sony, Sony's Marvel Universe, something like that. Uh, it's a licensing deal. I don't know why I was getting geeky about this. But yeah, it's not Marvel technically, it's Sony's Marvel Universe. It's not like made by Marvel. Different, same universe, but different, different production. It's like licensed. Anyways, not the point. <laughs> so Marvel, uh, so the uh, Venom was like, I think it was also like bad, like the reviews, but I loved the movie. And second one, I loved it too. Like I still saw it and I would probably see it again. I just loved it so much. But people were like shitting on it. They were like, don't go see it. But I'm like, I want to see it. I don't give a fuck what you're saying. I have to be honest. I'm sorry. Like, I don't care. And I think this is what I'm trying to come at is that <laughs> just because like people are saying bunch of bad things uh, about particular thing doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't do it and this is like something simple like you know like the restaurants or movies right you just mentioned but there are like bigger things that we can mention and that's what I'm trying to come at is like I don't know like moving to places or I don't know like trying a new job or something or a company Yes, I feel like you always have to take things with a grain of salt, and that's what I'm trying to come at, is that, like, you can't just, like, make a decision just based on that. Like, certain things that I would say, like, the first thing I just mentioned is, like, moving to a place. There are many times, uh, even before my, uh, before I was, like, choosing Miami, I was, like, going back and forth between a bunch of places. It was not just, like, Florida. It wasn't just Florida, honestly. It was, like, I don't think I was considering myself moving to Florida. It was more like just Miami. I don't think I ever saw myself living other place in Florida besides Miami. But I'm saying I was considering places. And I think even at the time that I chose Miami, and a lot of people thought, like, it's because, like, oh, all the New Yorkers are moving to Miami. That's why I made the decision. But I actually made that decision, like, long before people were starting to move. Like, I, because I did not move during the pandemic. Uh, because a lot of people moved to Florida during the pandemic. Like, because they wanted to, you know, like, more free and, like, do other things, stuff like that. But I didn't necessarily did that. Like, I, like, moved, like, last, like, in December, end of December. So it was, like, very much after the pandemic. So it had nothing to do with that. So I just feel like I made my own judgment call on that. And that's why I'm so proud of it that like, even maybe this might not be the journey for me towards the end, it was still my choice. To top it off, I want to say, when you follow what other people are saying or what other people are doing, you almost feel like you are making a call, you're making a judgment call based on other people's experiences, not yours. And God forbid, if something goes wrong or if something doesn't work out the way you expect it to, you are going to blame other people versus like, you're like, oh, that wasn't necessarily my choice. I did it mostly because that's what everyone else was doing. I just remember this like in many occasions like <laughs> in my life and like that's why I'm like so glad like there are many decisions I've made that like that was mainly because of me like it was not just because like 
what everyone else was doing. Like another example I would mention is like this career choice of mine. Yes, nowadays it looks like everybody wants to be a creator. Everybody wants to be, um, I don't know, like social media influencer. Everybody wants to have a podcast. Stuff like that. And again, nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But what I'm trying to come at is like the time that I started, nobody wants to do this. Or nobody was necessarily, not necessarily like wants to do this. Nobody necessarily was like, oh, like this is a great opportunity. They were kind of like, what are you doing in your with your life? And like, go get a job. Or like, I don't know, like this is not sustainable. You cannot do this. Like they were like, what the hell are you doing? So I'm just saying like, it was like, it was like one or one or two people. I'm just saying that like I'm not the only one, but like it was like very few people who chose a career like mine. It was not like this, but not everybody wants to do this. I'm just saying like at the time it was super risky and I absolutely had no idea what I was doing. And like I was scared as hell that like how am I going to continue doing this? And I wanted to do it for the longest time. So, uh, and I think that's what I'm trying to make an example. And like, just because like you might want to do something else, that doesn't necessarily mean that like that's just the end of it or like, or that's just wrong. I think it might look wrong from the outside just because like someone else is not doing this, but you have to remember that like your journey is different. Like it, just because it's just not the same does not mean that like it's wrong. And that's what I try to, like, not necessarily justify, but I feel, like, tell myself the times that, I don't know, I feel like, oh, I should be doing this. Like, very similar things that I'm going to mention later that, like, mention, like, you know, like, moving to place, right, or choosing a career job like that, or, like, choosing a lifestyle just because you're in a group or you are at this age that, I don't know, people are going to parties or people are doing this, you don't have to do it. Just because people are doing it, you don't have to do it. Just because the biggest part of the group is doing it, you don't have to do it. Like, just because like almost everyone else is doing it and you're like, I feel left out. I feel like just, just because you do something because everyone else is doing it or you feel left out, that's not a good reason to do things. And that's what I try trying to like come up with that. That is so unhealthy. Yes, there are times that that might, I don't know, like make us lonely, feel lonely in, in some type of way. But I think you have to discover your own journey so you can make your own choices. I realize this sometimes, like, but I'm just so proud of this because I honestly don't care at all. I would rather... <laughs> I don't know, like, yes, I do like to go out sometimes, but, like, I don't want to go out just because everyone else is going out. I want to make that choice myself. So, I would rather, like, have someone not contact me at all just because, like, I didn't say yes to them all the time when they were asking me to go out versus, like, just stay at home. Like, I would, I would be glad to stay at home or I would be glad to just go to gym by myself. I just don't care. Uh, I think some people think that that's like lonely, but I think there's the biggest difference between being alone versus lonely. You see, right? I feel like you don't have to follow the crowd. I think people are doing this way too much. And I see this on like a regular basis, almost every place that I've been to. And not to say like, oh my God, like, I am the like outlier, like obviously not. Like there are many people like me, but I realized this that that's just not healthy, first of all. But also you have to remember that you you are the one making the decision and not them. You're just following their decision. So but you're gonna be suffering the consequences of their decision if you make the same decision. Because they are making a decision, I hope, for themselves, not because someone else did it as well. Uh, so if you do it yourself, at least you're gonna be like, this was my call. I I did this and now I have to deal with it. Like, you know, you have to own up to it. Like, you cannot just, like, be like, oh, like, people are going to this restaurant. I want to go to this restaurant. People are doing this. I want to do this. 
one thing I would clarify because I know people are gonna come at me and say this this is kind of ironic because I do many things like that there is a difference between doing things for your job or for social media or for trends just like I was mentioning in the beginning like going to that like expensive supermarket <laughs> in LA Erewhon that doesn't mean I'm following the crowd it's just I'm doing it for content and I just know that's gonna get views that's why I do it for or like the things like trying a coffee place or something like that I do it because I want to do it it could be mean that also a lot of people want to do it but like I just feel like it might look like from the outside that some people are doing what everyone else is doing but as long as they have their own reasoning behind it it's okay it's just a lot of people might have the same decision I just used to get this all the time like I love Starbucks like I, I really do my sister actually hates it but I like Starbucks and I, I even like their food like it's not bad um, and I would gladly go again many times <laughs> that doesn't make me that like uh, I'm following a crowd it's just my choice it might look like a lot of the crowd is just doing the same thing but at the end of the day it's my choice um, and I'm proud of doing that so I feel like you really have to make the justification behind that that like are you making the choice because you want to do it or are you making the choice because everyone else is making the same choice like it just you know you, you need to be careful with that because I think as you get older <laughs> I realize just so much that like all the decisions you make makes a big impact in your life it affects I don't know, it just affects how you're going to be next day, next year. It affects uh, your time, like, because you're committing time towards that. Like, it, it's going to change your life in many ways. I feel like in the past, I never thought of that because I'm like, oh, like, it's fine, I can do this. I can go out tonight or I can do this tonight, like, with the friends. But then I rem remember, I'm like, no, I, I, was gonna, I was supposed to edit this video or I was supposed to do this or I, no, I didn't have time to do this. You have to remember, you have commitments for yourself, so you have to always abide by your own decisions, not because people are like, oh, that's like the right way to do it, or that's the way to do it. It, it sometimes sucks because it makes you feel like, oh, like something is wrong with you, because that's what I <laughs> feel most of the time. Like, I'm like, oh, like, I chose this, but nobody did. So I'm like, what the hell is wrong with me? But that's just not the case. I feel like sometimes we are the outliers, and, like, and that's okay. I feel like that's why, like, Malcolm Gladwell wrote that book, Outliers. So don't ever think twice about it just because you're making a different decision. Uh, it's just, it's just you. I think every one of us is unique in our own way. And that's why we should have our own unique journey, not the journey that everyone is going to follow. Anyways, guys, so that was this episode for today. Short, but hopefully sweet, and you guys like it. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And I'll see you guys next week with another episode.